Hello my friend, welcome to my video again. In this tutorial I'm going to show you how to make cutout effect in the Adobe Illustrator. And then I will turn that effect into a forest landscape. It will be so fun to do that together. And in the end of the video I will show you how to add paper texture into your artwork. If you are ready, because I am, let's jump into the Illustrator. Alright guys, first of all I have started to create a new artboard with 1080 by 1080 pixel size. And in the right hand side I have two main colors that I will use during the video. Of course you can choose your own color palette or you can use the same colors as me by using the hexadecimal codes. Ok, let's start with the curvature tool. I'm going to create round shape in the artboard but I want to make smooth curves. That's why I have started with the curvature tool. This tool helps me to create round shapes because it gives me a perfect curves between my anchor points. These shapes will be outer lines of my drawing. I'm going to draw other lines inside of these shapes. In this point, there are several techniques like offset, pen tool or curvature tool, but I'm going to use pencil tool. Because after now I want to draw random shapes and it will look more natural in the end. Going to select pencil tool, double click on its icon and make sure that your pencil is smooth. And draw similar shape as I have created. Don't be hurry if you are using mouse, Illustrator will fix your line in the end. When you see the small circle in the pencil icon, that means your line is able to join with the start point. I will continue drawing similar layers inside of the previous shape. If you have a sharp corner point like this shape, I will fix it by using pen tool. Select the pen tool, hold alt or option button, when the icon has changed, Click and drag the corner point until it's rounded enough. I will continue the same process again. Ok, before I jump to the next step, I'm going to create a rectangle shape in 1080 by 1080 pixels, the same size with my artboard. Then I'm going to select everything I draw, pathfinder and divide. What I need to do now is ungroup the object and now I can use all shapes separately. Ok, let's jump to the fun part. I will create a rectangle with gradient color field inside. I will use my colors here and I will rasterize this object. Why I do that because I will select the color tones for my shape layers from this gradient object. This is not a must but for me it's really helpful. I'm starting with the last shape I draw and going to give the darkest color by using eyedropper tool. And I'm going to select next shape and I will give it a lighter color than before. Step by step I will use the same process. In the outer layer, make sure that you use the lightest color. In these small shapes, I will use the same color as one layer down. I'm copying the color with eyedropper tool. Also for this shape, I will start with the lightest color 
Then I will give the darker colors than before. And in the end, I want to change color tones a little bit darker. Then I'm selecting everything. Effect menu, stylize and drop shadow. When shadows applied, probably you noticed that our shapes look like many layers stacked one on the other. But in this drawing, we don't want it. It should look like layers cut it out. So I'm going to arrange my layers order. This small and the darkest shape must stay in the behind everything. And the next layers must stay behind everything but one step front than previous shape. You can use arrange by right clicking the shape or you can use keyboard shortcuts. In the end, our layers should look like this. I will keep the layers order for this small part. I have decided to change shadow's location to opposite side. Ok, now I'm going to draw some plans for the environment. Don't forget that small details make your artwork more stylish. I'm going to use basic shapes, rounded rectangle tool and some pen tool. I will increase the stroke thickness to 3 point and change stroke profile to triangle. After all, I am going to select everything, going to object menu, then expand appearance. Then, while the object selected, pathfinder and unit. Now I have one single shape. I can create some variations with duplicating the original one. Going to select Puppet Warp tool, clicking on top of my object and one point for the bottom. Clicking and holding the node and moving it. You can create some more nodes for different variations. I will create more. Ok. By using these objects, I will try to create a plant. By using curvature tool, I will draw some leaves. You can use pen tool instead. Note that, if you double click an anchor point, it will be sharp corner while curvature tool is selected. Ok. I will make them group and then I will place it on the drawing. I'm going to make reflected view for this one. Let's create some more. This position looks fine for me. Now I will connect the plants with the layers. First of all, I am going to arrange objects order. Each object must stay behind the layer that they will connect. Otherwise, layer will lost all steps we have done so far. Selecting both plants together and the outer layer. Then pathfinder and unit. I will make the same steps for the next objects. Ok guys, now I have placed two flamingo pictures on my artboard. 
However, they are PNG files and I need to convert them to vector. But don't worry, it is really easy step. Just we need to do is select one of them, then image trace and silhouette. Then while the object selected, object menu, then expand. That's it. I have downloaded them from the internet. They are free for use and you can find the download links in the description. Same steps for the next one. Now we have a vector flamingo and I'm going to change its color. Then place it on the drawing. And make sure that flamingo in the correct layers order. Again, I will use the same steps for the next one. In the last step, I'm going to apply shadow. While objects are selected, effect menu, stylize and drop shadow. Let's add some more plans for the environment. Again, I will use simple shapes. First of all, I'm creating an arc, then expand them to object. Then I'm drawing simple leaf with the curvature tool. Copying and placing leaves on the line we created. Selecting everything together and click unit to make it one shape. I'm going to duplicate them and find a good place on the artwork. And the same process we have made in plants, moving selected object behind of the layers and unit together. Okay, that's nice. I want to add one more object, creating a long shape by using the pen tool. While it's selected, click rotation tool. There is a small pivot point in the middle of the object. To change it, press and hold Alt or Option button and click bottom corner of the object. Now we can rotate this object from the pivot point. I will enter 20 degree angle here, then copy. Press Ctrl and Command and D together to make same action again. That's enough. I will use it as a palm tree leaf. Again, with the pen tool, I will draw a branch. While everything selected, Pathfinder and Unit. Now we can place them to the artwork. After now, I will apply their shadows with effect menu, stylize and drop shadow. And make some adjustments in the layers order.
Ok, let's add one final touch and give paper texture to our artwork. I'm going to place paper texture file. You can also find download link in the description. Make sure that the texture is in the frontest layer and change opacity mode to multiply. To get rid of extra parts, I'm going to create a rectangle in 1080 by 1080 pixels again. While everything selected, I'm making it a clipping mask. Alright guys, that was it. I hope you enjoyed my video. Please let me know if you want to see more content like this in the comments. And please don't forget to subscribe my channel. I will see you in the next video.